In this video, I'm going to introduce you to by inspection node voltage analysis. This is convenient and easy to use, but it's a bit limited. We should only use it when we have independent current sources and we want to solve for a system of n nodal voltages. So if you have dependent current sources, these are the ones that have a diamond shaped symbol, can't use it. And if you have voltage sources, this isn't your best option, only current sources. So maybe you could transform voltage sources into current sources, but I will just introduce the concept here. So the whole goal is to form a matrix equation like we may typically do for node voltage analysis. There's G, a conductance matrix, V, a vector of voltages we're trying to solve for, and then I, T, a vector of total currents. So let's just identify the different elements here. So the kth element of IT is the total current from all sources entering the kth node. VK is the node voltage at the kth node. Now we focus on the G's. So for the G's, we have diagonal elements, and the diagonal elements are the sum of all conductances connected to the kth node. For the off-diagonal elements, we'll write them as G, J, K. G, J, K will happen to be equal to G, K, J. And what are these? Well, these, are the negative of all the conductances connecting nodes J and K. So that's how we'll get all of these elements. Of course, we will solve for V, so the solution is like this. So let me demonstrate with a simple circuit to show you that it actually works out like this. Here's an example. Let's identify some nodes. Here's a ground, it's a convenient ground, and then two more unknown nodes. So let's call this one A and B. We have three resistors, R1, R2, R3, and then two source currents, I1, I2. This meets the criteria for us to use this simple approach. We will just do it uh, the, the hard way and we'll show that we end up with the by inspection method. So for node A, we have the following KVL equation. So I've identified some currents I1 and IAB. Using Ohm's law, this becomes, and I can see I made an error here. IS1 should show up as a negative because I'm tracking here all currents leaving the node A. So in order to be correct, I have to treat all the currents consistently. Now we can do an equation for node B. So for the currents leaving node B, we have So from these equations, we can form our matrix equation. Let's just write it as a system of two equations and two unknowns. So for node A, we have VA, and it has prefactors of these. And VB has a prefactor of negative 1 over R2. OK, then for node B, we have a VA term. And now we turn this into a matrix equation and you'll see that it works out just like what I told you before. So there we have it. Uh, you have these diagonal elements, and you can see that the diagonal elements are all the resistors that connect to each node. So like the first diagonal element has all the conductances that connect to node A. The second diagonal element has all the conductances that connect to node A. B and they're positive. And then on the off diagonal, 
we have the conductances that connect nodes A and B, and they're negative. So we have that the G12 element is equal to the G21 element. And then the total source currents entering each node are on the far right. So that's just an example of how we might do circuit that's eligible for this by inspection node analysis. Hope you found that helpful. I hope that helps you get set up to do some examples. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and have a great day.